Hello everyone, it's Niven, and today I am making Copper Cube 6 tutorial video. Copper Cube 6 is a game engine and it's available for free. Link is in the description, you can download it and follow along. Today I will be talking about polygon editing. Now, what is polygon editing? It's a special tool which is built inside Copper Cube 6 engine which allows you to modify different selection of objects. As you know, I say this at the start of every tutorial, we have five main windows. We have Scene Graph Explorer, where we have our Cube Mesh and Startup Skybox. We have Properties, we have sky, uh, Prefabs, and we have Textures. And of course, the main window. Now, if we click on the Cube Mesh, we can go to, not Create, but Polygon Editing. And this allows us to this allows us to modify our cube. If we click on select, as you can see, we will get this type of image. And as I get closer, you can see we get different dots. And you can click on those dots. For example, I click on the top dot. And what I can do with this dot is I can move, rotate, or scale this. Let's click on move. And as you can see, I can move it like this, or I can move it up, or I can move it inside. And then when I click on select once again, as you can see, you click all outside of the box with left mouse button, and you get this uh, modified cube. As you can see, it's uh, been uh, modified, yeah. Let's go back to polygon editing. You click on cube, and it's still in the polygon editing uh, regime. Now I want to rotate a point. You click on point, for example, this point. You click on rotate, and then you rotate it, let's say, you know, like that. And let's say you can rotate it on the Z axis, like this, and it's gonna be really weird and we can also scale this and as you can see you can scale this by by like that and if we click outside once again left mouse button and you have this kind of weird looking pointy cube now this was of course just a showcase you can create anything you want with it and I will give you a simple example uh, let's delete this cube. Let's take a cube and uh, click on delete the cube. Now, if you want to exit uh, the polygon editing, uh, you should create a new thing, for example, cube once again, and you can just move this cube, and now you can delete this cube. Let's delete the second cube too. Uh, now, what I want to make is I want to make water surface but I want it to be not rectangle shape, rather be circular. So let's go to our prefabs right here. Uh, we might have something for the water. We have a flower pot. We click twice on the flower pot and as you can see we have beautiful flower pot right here. But it's empty. Well, it has kind of you know, a uh, mud texture over it. Now I want this to be changed to a water. Let's click on a water surface, how to create a water surface. Uh, let's click on tile count. Let's create width will be 10. Oh, my mistake. Uh, let's delete this. Uh, so we go to create and we go down here to water surface. We go tile count 10, width 10 and length also 10. Click on OK. And as you can see, we have water surface. But now we got a problem because as you can see, this water surface is rectangle shape and it's not circular. We can use polygon editing to fix this. And now I will showcase this to you. Go to polygon editing, click on select. And now if we click on this point and I click on move and I move this inside like that. Now we click on another point, once again, select, point, move, 
we move this point inside once again like that now we once again select point move move this inside now we click on select point move and move this inside too and as you can see well we have some adjustments to make of course but it's much better uh, let's make quick adjustments click on point oh see there are lots of points uh, <laughs> click on point of the water click on it move like that move like that move move like this and we also click on this one hold on flower uh, click on select this just happens you have to be very careful on uh, which point you select hold on and we click on move and here it is now it's all done. As you can see, we have beautiful flower pod, which is filled with water reflection. Now, if you want to make this high quality, go to water, go to water, attributes, and detail will be high. And as you can see, we have beautiful water teapot, flower pot. Anyways, this was it for this tutorial. Uh, Polygon editing is a tool you can use. I sometimes don't use it. I mean, if there is a water surface, I of course use it, but otherwise, I'm not using it at all. Uh, but you can change your objects if you want. You can create different uh, shapes and sizes, and it's very simple, it's very easy. Uh, all it needs is your dedication, all it needs is your craftsmanship. And as I say at the end of every tutorial, what matters is what you what your preference is what you want to do with uh, the objects in the game with the story in the game or overall the mechanics of the game that's all that matters thanks everyone for watching if you have any questions please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section and uh, yeah have a good day